end and now the end is near and so I face the final curtain my friend I'll say it clear I'll state my case for which I'm certain I've lived a life that's full I've traveled each and every highway. Welcome to Wild Child Records. I'm Jay Stoyne, and you're in for an exciting show. Road here in Burlington, road here at Branch 60, the Royal Canadian I'm Legion. I'm here with Triple Threat Dan Lozon. Dan, thanks for being on the show today. Thanks for inviting me. I really appreciate it. Wow, thank you so much for your service and all you do. This is great. Thank so you. again, Road here in Burlington, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Jane McKenna, Natalie Pierre, and of course the mayor, Mary Mead. She's an amazing lady, always supporting us, what we do. So we're in for an exciting show. Again, like I was saying, we're here with Triple Fet, Dan Le Lozon, and he is only, well, Dan, you describe, you tell us what you do here at the Legion. Well, over here, I am the uh, first vice president. I'm also the veterans affairs officer who uh, takes care of veterans who require help, uh, when they, uh, when they have problems with uh, Veterans Affairs Canada. And if they require uh, funds, then they would come here and uh, depending on the situation, we would give them funds. That's great. Now, Dan's not only a, a veteran, but he's also a tribute performer showcasing Frank Sinatra. And that's kind of a little bit why he's on the show today, because we want to showcase his talent as a Frank Sinatra cover guy. I mean, Frank Sinatra, come on. Maybe the best performer of all time. I'm sure you agree with that. Oh, sure I do. <laughs> we had a, uh, there was a contest in Hoboken, New Jersey a few years back, uh, 2018. And um, it was the Frank Sinatra tribute, uh, uh, actually, the Frank Sinatra Idol Contest. Okay. In his hometown, right on uh, right on Sinatra Park and Sinatra Drive, and there was a number. I think there was fifteen contestants from all over the world, and uh, I was the only Canadian there, and uh, I won. Now, how can you get any more Jersey than Hoboken? <laughs> I it, mean, it's Frank's hometown. It's Frank's hometown, right? Yeah, like, so, so it's it, just amazing. And you were the only Canadian that was down there. That's correct. Yeah. Wow, and well, we they must people. have shunned you. <laughs> well, I, you know what, being Canadian, I thought, okay, you know, this is quite the experience, but I'll never win because I'm Canadian. I mean, we're, I'm in the U.S. That's right. We had people from Mexico. We had people from uh, London, England. We had people, and the rest, of course, were all from the, the U.S. So take us through. Did you, what, how many songs did you have to perform? Or Well, you have to send them uh, a list of songs that you would like to do, five songs you would like to do. So... Um, I sent my five songs in, and then they pick the song they want you to sing. And so for all 15 contestants, they would pick and choose which song they did so no one would sing the song, the same so, song twice. So what song did, you, did they pick for you? Uh, that's Life. That's Life. Wow, yeah. isn't that a great song? Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful song. I mean, we could talk all day long, and we are, about Frank Sinatra, but I also want to rope in like your, your, your veteran life and how maybe you sort of uh, give back through music. Can you tell us, can you share any stories about how you've given back through your music talents? Sure. Uh, we've done quite a few things. Uh, actually, I, I, I perform with a friend of mine, uh, Jim Ferrato, who, who does uh, Dean Martin. Oh, Dean. Dean, I love Dean. So we have the Frank and Dean show. And uh, we have been performing all over uh, Ontario, Quebec, uh, one for senior homes. Okay. Two, we've done shows here at the Legion uh, to raise money for veterans, uh, for the Legion to to help veterans out. And uh, uh, well, I love the branch because you're right in the heart of the community. Yes, like, we are. Right in the heart of the community, so you must get a lot of people. I mean, obviously with COVID over now, hopefully they're coming back now. But you must. It must be pretty a vibrant place, like it's close, and I know. You know, everybody's on a tight budget, and I know the prices are really good at the Legion. They give great service, and you're, you're doing a good thing. So tell us a little bit about the Legion, Dan. This is a very, very busy Legion. Um, all our volunteers um, are here to help veterans. Uh, I, I, there's so much that they do. We have the Ladies Auxiliary. We have um, 
we have people that are right now uh, po the poppy the drive. The poppy drive, yeah, the poppy we drive, right? We have uh, yeah. the volunteers all over Burlington um, selling poppies uh, to the people, and uh, they do it on their own time. Um, Everything we do here, yeah. like the poppy drive, yep. all that money that we receive from the people of Burlington, uh, that money stays in Burlington within the poppy fund. And should a veteran require anything, uh, require money, uh, you know, uh, the, they're homeless, they need a place to stay, we're going to do everything we can to help within our resources that person um, get what they need. I think that's so commendable because, you know, a lot of people, like, Legions have been around, well, like, forever, right? Right. And I think, unfortunately, a lot of people, I don't know, just maybe forget or they don't realize the great stuff that Legions provide for the community and how they're there to support. I mean, I'm sure you guys support whether you're a veteran or not. If someone was in need, you guys would do what you can. And, and I think that's what we need to do maybe through music, through your show, right? Through, through your performances is get the word out there. Let's... Let's get this is a valuable gem in your community. Let's support it and get involved. How could people get involved, Dan? Well, first of all, the the younger generation or the younger soldiers, uh, like our World War One, World War World War Two uh, veterans, there aren't too many left. And now we have the younger generation uh, that have gone through uh, well, well, Korea, yeah, uh, Somalia. Uh, Iraq and Iraq, yeah. Afghanistan, uh, so many places that we've been. Uh, those they're the younger generation. We need them in the Legion, otherwise we're going to fail. And what they need is they need to know what we can do for them should they need help. Like if they came to see the service officer, which which is what I do here, if they needed something from Veterans Affairs Canada. Then I would call Veterans Affairs Canada with them beside and say, can you help this person? This person uh, needs a doctor, he needs a psychiatrist, he needs, he needs uh, you know, something happened to them while they were overseas uh, during the operation, um, and now they need help. And then, you know, I, I point them in the right direction, but it's up to them to, uh, to help themselves as well. Uh, we're not going to deliver... Yeah, everything to them on on a silver platter. If they want help, it's there, and believe me, we have a lot of help for veterans. Um, you just got to come see the veterans officer. Well, I think that's what we want to do. Maybe through media is maybe help you guys promote your services, promote awareness, promote the community, and let's get some energy getting back into the legion. Like you said, a lot of them are from World War One and World War Two. Not many are left around, and the new guys maybe they just don't know, right? They just well, don't know. They don't know, and you know that. Uh, they're hesitant into coming in because their attitude is, oh, the Legion is for old people. But it isn't. No. Because it's their generation now that would certainly help the Legion uh, continue to exist. If people stop coming, there won't be a Legion and the help won't be there. So let's take a quick break. We're here with we're at Branch 60 Royal Canadian Legion. We're here with First Vice President. You tell me the rest. Uh, Dan Lozano, uh, Royal Canadian Legion, Branch 60, Burlington. There you go. And he's also a tribute performer showcasing Frank Star. So when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about your career as a, a, a soldier and what's going on today at the Legion. Stay tuned. You're watching Wild Child Records. We'll be right back. about inclusion and really giving everyone a, a fair say. Welcome to the Today Show. This is our flagship show. I am Unstoppable Tracy. I am Zach Damon. It is a pleasure to be here. I am excited. What is up? We have a great show today. Jay Stoyan here for the Disability Channel, the world's only inclusive channel for and by persons with disabilities. Get ready to be inspired, everyone. We have people watching from all over the world, but also all over Ontario. We also take a concerted attention in the veterans community. In moments of stress and trauma, we can get a hold of ourselves. 
to help make a difference for people with disabilities, to show people how to love themselves or their disability. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me, giving this platform for myself and other people with disabilities. Thank you so much, folks, for joining us for this episode of the Disability Channel of Detroit. Please tune in next time. to Wild Child Records. What a wonderful interview. Very interesting. We're here with veteran Dan Lozon. He's the first vice president of the Branch 60 Royal Canadian Legion. Dan, thanks so much for being on the show today. Thanks for having me. He's also a triple threat. So he takes, uh, he talks, uh, we talked a little about the, the color guard. I know a lot of our viewers would love to know what is the color guard. So tell us that. Well, the color guard is, is uh, a number of people, mostly veterans, who, um, carry the colors on special occasions for the, uh, the Legion. Uh, for instance, uh, November 11th, uh, we're going to have a huge parade here in Burlington, and the Color Guard's going to be leading. It's a Legion parade. For, okay. Okay, so the Color Guard's going to be leading the parade, uh, starting, um, I can't remember. The we should be a school. part of that. Well, you should. The channel should be a part of that. I would I think be there. I think we'd like to be. Can, well, we, can we cover that? Sure you can. There you go. We're going to cover so, that. So uh, we marched the parade down the street on Brand Street, and then the color guard uh, goes around the cenotaph, the, the Veterans Square, and uh, we're carrying our flags, our colors, uh, the Burlington flag, the Canadian flag, the ensign, uh, and uh, That's gonna uh, we, be we, go, we go through a ceremony, the, the uh, Remembrance Day ceremony, uh, and then uh, they're marched off. November 11th. November well, we'll 11th. be there for sure. Now tell us... Your medals, what do they what do they stand for? Uh, this one is for the Gulf War. Oh, okay. This one is uh, Samoa. Wow. I, I spent three years in Germany with NATO. And this is the, uh, the peace medal. Because I served with NATO, I got this. This is the Queen's uh, Golden Jubilee medal. Wow. And this is the Canadian Forces decoration of 12 years of undetected crime. So impressive. I never knew, like, it's, it's so funny. It's maybe such a, um, uh, I don't know, a civilian question, but I never really knew, like, that's what the medals were for. Is that what they, is that what they were for? There's the, time, like, air and times or whatever? Yeah, different times. Uh, like for, um, like when I went over, yeah. uh, over to the Gulf. Yeah. Uh, during the war. Wow. So, so can you tell our viewers, like, did you have many hats when you were a soldier? Did you have many positions, many roles, or? Uh, I was a, uh, I left as a sergeant, and uh, I was a section commander, so I had a, a ten, 10 men. Really? And uh, a unit within the platoon. And how long did you serve? Almost 18 years. Almost 18 years. Wow, yeah. wow. That's, well, I, I really want to thank your service for, for, for keeping us safe. Thank you so much. I Thank appreciate you. that. Let's flip it a bit now. Let's talk some music now. Uh, so, music. Now, I know you have a big event coming up. So yes. tell our viewers your event coming up. On November 10th, the day before um, the, the uh, Remembrance Day, upstairs, we're going to have uh, an event, and the theme is World War II. So uh, we're going to have posters of actual veterans upstairs all the way around, and we're going to have a 20-piece orchestra. And we're also going to have uh, Frank and Dean performing, as well as the Andrew sisters. So the theme is World War II, and uh, we're raising money for the Legion for the veterans. That's great. Now, can people still attend, or is it sold out? Or I believe there's a few more seats left, not many. I talked to Frank, the organizer, uh, the other day, and he said we had... 30 seats left, okay. so I don't know what it is today. Okay, and if people, can you give out the, like, where could they go, their website, or? Uh, they can go online okay. at, uh, at www.BurlingtonLegionBranch60, um, yep. or they can call the, the, the branch and uh, order tickets. Now, if people wanted to check out your career regarding singing, where could they go? Are you doing any more shows coming up in case it's sold out on the 10th or anything like that? Yes, we are doing a few more shows. Um, 
the majority at the Innsville Inn in Stony Creek. Okay. So it'll be the Frank and Dean show. And this is the last year that we're doing the show. Okay. Um, after December, uh, in the new year, uh, Dean Martin and I, or my buddy Jim Ferrato who does Dean Martin, we're also old rock and roll uh, <laughs> singers. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we played in a band before we started doing Frank and Dean. Uh, we've written quite a few songs. A lot of them on are uh, are on uh, Spotify, Amazon Music, iTunes, uh, and uh, we're gonna grow our hair long, grow beards, and just become hippies. Well, if you'd be kind enough, I'd love to have uh, Dean on uh, on a future show along with you. Were mentioning that you also have a Ray Charles friend who imperson mm -hmm. impersonator. So yes. I would love to come back. Maybe next time we come back, we'll have Dean on and Ray. I would love to just sort of. Start to get involved with you guys, start to promote the Legion, start to maybe open up some doors if I can help you guys, and just get, get the energy flowing again, because I, you guys, you know, the Legion does wonderful things, and we deserve to support you, you know? Yeah, you know what, that would be awesome, because uh, the veterans, the word's not getting out what the Legion has to offer to our veterans. So the, you know, the more the word get out gets out there, um, hopefully more more veterans will come in. Anyways, yeah. So I I really want to thank for, for being on today, Dan. Much appreciated. Thank awesome. you very much. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a quick break, and I'm going to come back and wrap the show. Showcasing their abilities. All the best. Welcome back to Wild Child Records. I'm your host, Jay Stoyan. We're here at the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 60. I was here with Dan Lozon. Wonderful interview, wonderful gentleman. Very heartfelt interview. Really passionate. What we're going to do, I just want to update people a little bit what we're doing with the Disability Channel. We're all about providing opportunities, showcasing abilities through employment programs, which are endorsed and financed through the Ontario government. And soon we hope to be by the federal government as we want to take what we're doing in Ontario for persons with disabilities and add the veterans in Ontario and go right across Canada. So I want to thank Minister Carla Qualtro, very helpful, Councillor Matt Luloff, of course, the city of Burlington. And what we're going to be doing now, hopefully, is we're going to be teaming up with the legions this one being the first Branch 60, we're going to be bringing in some entertainment courtesy, the Disability Channel, Wild Child Records, and our band, Freedom Train. And we're going to be raising some funds, awareness, inclusiveness, kindness for veterans and the people who support veterans inside the community. So we want everybody to be involved. If you want to find out more information, you can always go to our website, thedisabilitychannel.ca. You can talk to Dan as we're going to be best pals, I hope moving forward and uh, it's just an enjoyable thing so hopefully the community can get involved let's support veterans great entertainment come out have some fish and chips mm -hmm. right and maybe get involved so again you're watching she wild child records i'm jay stoyan we'll see you soon dinner at eight. she loves the theater and never comes late she never bothers with people she hates.
That's why the lady is a tramp Someday When I'm awfully low When the world is cold I will feel the glow Just thinking of 